Yesterday was what is known to some, I guess, as Dating Sunday. And I don't know if you heard about this, but the first Sunday of the year is traditionally one of the biggest days for dating apps. Basically, what happens is all the single people who went home for the holidays got sick of being asked why they're not married yet, so they signed up for these apps. Yesterday was Dating Sunday, and tonight is Bachelor Monday here on ABC. <laughs> Bachelor Peter. Peter's the bachelor. He met 30 women tonight. He's a pilot. He's a commercial airline pilot. And this season, the woman he selects will get an engagement ring from Neil Lane and 200,000 Sky Miles. So this is a big deal this time around. <laughs> and later on, when Peter's with us, I will reveal who the woman he chose is. My wife, Molly, has correctly predicted six of the last eight bachelor selections and six of the last seven on The Bachelorette. She does this on the first show. She watches the first show. She goes, that's the one. It's a weird and useless ability. <laughs> and you'd think she would have used it to avoid marrying me, but she didn't. <laughs> it was an eight-hour season premiere, and they packed in a lot, including one of the most dramatic moments in Bachelor history, the unexpected arrival of an unexpected guest. Is there 40 of us now? Oh, 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 oh. What is going on? What's happening? Oh what is literally happening? What? <laughs> wow. Well, cancel the cocktail party. We got trouble. Actually, the surprise guest was Hannah B, <laughs> not Bill Cosby. <laughs> Hannah B was a bachelorette on Bachelor Colton season, the last bachelor. Then she was the bachelorette. Then she was on Dancing with the Stars, and now she's back on The Bachelor. Hannah has been on ABC more than I have over the last <laughs> few years. She stood up in front of all the other women tonight and gave a detailed account of the love she and Peter made in the windmill, which was really weird. And then, since Peter's a pilot, they brought in a couple of women, very accomplished women, a marine pilot and the first female member of the Blue Angels, to give the ladies a pop quiz about airplane stuff. And that went exactly how you might expect it went. How high in feet would you and Peter have to be to join the Mile High Club? Oh. <laughs> 30. 30,000? 30, 30, 30, 30, yeah, no, no, no. Alright, let's reveal our answers. Okay, 30,000 feet is ridiculously wrong. No. <laughs> Are you going to space? Yeah. Okay, back here. Didn't even try. That's awesome. <laughs> I love those two. I hope they keep them around the whole season. I'd like to see them host a game show. Are you smarter than a Bachelor contestant? <laughs> of all the women who hopped out of the limo tonight, and there were many, one in particular caught my attention, a body waxer named Alexa. That's Alexa. She's an esthetician. And that's not what caught my eye. I don't know what goes on in your house, but does anyone at ABC realize the hell they just unleashed? Anytime. Anyone says the name Alexa, millions of Alexas <laughs> are now going to activate and accidentally order hot tubs to all the houses in the United States. Well, Peter will be here shortly to tell all. And I will say, it's cut. is it good to be back to work for you, Guillermo? Yes, it is. It is? Yeah. Why is it good to be back to work for you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble with the wife at home? Everything all right? Put it this way, she had a knee surgery, so... Oh, no. So she's in pain, so... So, so you were in pain. I was a lot. You were in pain. All right, well, welcome back. Hey, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season in a fun way. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. Or watch another gaming video and don't help kids. It's up to you.